Hello students, in this session we are doing the concept of differentiability. Well, while doing derivatives, we have learned that derivative of a function which is f dash x is given by limit as h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. This is what we learned while doing the derivatives and this concept we understood with the diagram that I have a curve which is y is equal to f of x and I have point A, B where we take say this as x is equal to x and point B as x is equal to x plus h. Well, for the diagram purposes we have taken h to be so large, but in actual h is very small. So, point A is x f of x and b is x plus h f of x plus h. Based on this my f dash x was limit as h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. What we meant was that point B starts approaching A along the root f x, along the curve f x, keeping in mind that B can never touch A because h will become 0. And we say that tangent at point A is the limiting value of the secant. Well, while doing this particular derivation, we never thought that why are we only taking B on the right hand side of point A. We are saying this x plus h and f of x plus h. In actual practice, well, I can have B on the left hand side of A and B can approach A from the left hand side also. Now this is where the concept of differentiability comes in. That is, I draw the diagram in such a way that now I take this point A as x f of x and this we have taken point B, I take this as h. Please understand h is a positive quantity. So, this is x and B is now x plus h f of x plus h as we have done here. And I take say another point say C again I take this also h which is a positive quantity. Then if this is x is equal to x, this is x is equal to x plus h, 
then can I not say that the coordinate of C, the x coordinate is x is equal to x minus h if this is x and this is h. So, this is x minus h. I follow the same procedure then I can definitely say that for this particular point f dash x I can definitely write down this as limit. Now c is approaching a along the curve. So I can say h tending to 0 I have h is larger than x minus h. So, f of x minus f of x minus h upon h. Well, now we are having two different relations. I am having two different limits, this and this. So, we take a concept of differentiability here that we say When I approach A from B on the right hand side, then we call this as right hand derivative. Right hand derivative is given by limit as h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h and when I have c approaching a from the left hand side then we call this as left hand derivative this is equal to limit h tending to 0 understand h is a positive quantity now to keep it in the same symmetric order what we can write down this this particular relation as f of x minus h minus f of x and I take this as minus h. Well, now we make a statement. For a function y is equal to f of x, if, if left hand derivative exists and is finite, right hand derivative exists and is finite and if and only if left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative then function is differentiable. What is the meaning of that? This implies that derivative exists, then f dash x, this is given as limit as h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h.